Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at high-rise handlebars. There's a lot of hype about high-rise bars at the moment in the media. So I was running these 20mm rental bars and I've recently bought these 40mm bars. So I've swapped them over, got the van loaded. So let's head out to the forest and see whether they're worth it. So we've got the high-rise bars fitted. What's all the fuss about high-rise bars? Well, probably this has come to light with Dakota Norton in the Downhill World Cup this year, running really high bars. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. I think they're probably like sort of 50, 60, maybe even 70 mil rise um, and having pretty good success on it. People say the advantage is really when you're going downhill, the steeper it gets, the more advantage it is. We're able to stand more upright, have an upright position on the bike. Okay. And when it gets steep and gnarly, safe being drawn over the front of the bike. I've gone with these 40 mil rise Renfalls because they're the highest rise that Renfall do. Um, I was running 20. Right. And to add to that, I've added a 5 mil spacer underneath the integrated headset to give me a total of 45 mil rise bars. So let's give it a go. We're going to start off with um, a fairly, a very familiar flow trail pixie dust. Um, probably won't really notice the benefit of high rise bars on this one, but um, let's give it a go. It already feels different, it already feels like I'm standing taller. Definitely feels different. Gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Well, yeah, it definitely feels different. Feels a lot more upright. It's amazing what 25 mil difference actually feels like. Unfamiliar, I suppose. So it's going to take a little while to get used to them and then see if I actually think it's better or not. Okay, that's starting to feel a bit more at home now. That's three runs. Definitely encourages a better body position. <coughs> uh, kind of still need when I want to get the grip on the front, just kind of bending the elbows a little bit more. Back flat. Kind of, yeah, kind of feels more upright in the legs. Starting to like it. So initial impressions on high-rise bars. I've got to say initially they felt quite alien. Okay. That extra 25 mil rise, 20 mil higher bars and 5 mil spacer felt really alien to begin with. Um, particularly on the flatter trails or the ones that weren't so steep. Um, had to probably bend my elbows a little bit more, get my weight over the front. But as soon as this trail started getting steeper, that's when they really came into their own. Okay. Feels like you've got less weight on your hands, feels like you've got more control. Feels like you're not being drawn over the front of the bike quite so much. 
I wonder whether I'll probably get rid of the five mil spacer. I'm not sure if 25 is too much. Just take the extra five mil out and see how that goes next time. But yeah, all in all, high rise bars, thumbs up. So let me know in the comments what your experiences are with high rise bars. If you've got high rise bars, did you like them? Didn't you like them? Are you thinking about having them? And how high are they? What do you think? Also, if you can like and subscribe below, that will really help motivate me to make more videos of my mountain biking journey. See you next time.